This morning I had the opportunity to lead the Stations of the Cross at Holy Trinity Parish in nearby Water, uh, Wallingford. And after we did the Stations with the children, grades 1 through 6, we had Stump the Priest. Stump the Priest is where the kids get to ask any question they want to the priest. And we had some very interesting questions. <laughs> What does Adam mean? What does Eve mean? How did God create them? Who created God? Tough ones. And you know, who created God? We have this, this very reading in the first the first reading from the book of Genesis about creation. And obviously we don't I don't think we need to get into the fact that the Bible is not a scientific textbook, right? But it's true as well. It's not scientific truth. It's not the reason why the writers wrote it. They had the truth that they were trying to get across is this. And this is the lesson, I think, of today's gospel for us, or the, the liturgy, is that we need to trust in God. In fact, God can never lie because he is truth. But it's not easy to, to trust in God. Becoming a priest and getting ordained, I found that it's actually harder to trust in God. When you, for the first time, consecrate, or you say the words of consecration, and all of a sudden, you're holding our Lord, it's much harder to believe. Because before, while well, you trusted in the priest, but now you know your own weakness and your own sins, and all of a sudden, this really God? You have to make an act of trust. Or when you walk into the emergency room, there are the hospital, St. Mary's, and the doctors and the nurses are running around, you know, and the patient whose family has called for a priest and they're trying to help him and they're connecting tubes and lights are flashing. And you kind of come in and you kind of make your way through and say, I just want to do my anointing here. And they, they look at you, and they're doing something really, that's really important. Right? And you have to believe that what you're doing as a priest is even more important, because you're giving them a sacrament. You're transmitting God's grace. You have to believe, you have to trust in God when He tells you that it's more important to pray for people than to be a social worker, and to go out and help and find money for food. So a priest is challenged in his faith and his trust in God. I think you as laity too are, are challenged by this, uh, the way the church is set up. The fact that Christ instituted, he left his church to man, man. Right? And when you kneel down in the confessional, that's an act of trust. You're saying, I believe, trust in God, that's the way he set it up. And that I will receive my forgiveness of sins through the priest, through his words. Our faith and trust is challenged by God. And in the readings, we see that it's always been like that. Adam and Eve, and they were challenged by God. And then they were challenged by the devil. And the devil, he said, Do, did God really say that? Do you really trust in God? It just plants a little seed of distrust. And then Eve and Adam, they start to think, well, I know, maybe it would be really good to be like God. To live forever, to know the difference between good and evil, and they're tempted. Right? And they fell, like all of us have fallen so many times in our lives. And then what do we see? Our Lord of the Gospel, he's tempted too. He allows himself to be tempted, tempted by the devil saying that you don't have to do it like this. You could just become a superstar and do all these incredible miracles for yourself and everybody will believe in you. And I can give you all these kingdoms. He's being tempted. Being tempted. So we need to trust in God a lot like our Lord. Our Lord trusted. What does he say to the, to the devil? He says, be gone, Satan. I trust in the word of God much more than I trust in you. One does not live on bread alone. 
You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Be gone, Satan. This is the attitude that we need to have. This is the type of trust that our Lord is asking of priests. This is a kind of trust that God is inviting you to have as laity. It's not easy to trust, is it? Because no one likes to be fooled. You know, my dad got a phone call two months ago from a person who said he was a priest, said he was a legionary. And he was calling from the Philippines, and he said he was Valerino Otero, who works in Sacramento, and that he was traveling to New Zealand because he had a family member there who was, who was uh, dying, and, but he was stuck in the airport in the Philippines, in Manila, and he didn't realize that he had to pay his, uh, airport tax, and he needed... Uh, that he called uh, a legionary priest and he said, well, why don't you call Father Simon's dad and he'll give you some money, right? He'll be able to help you out because he's got three sons who are legionaries. He'll love to help you. And so my dad wasn't really sure really who this man was. He didn't know him. And he sent him $500 because this man needed it, right? And afterwards, he said, you know, I wasn't really sure that that was a, was a legionary. In fact, it wasn't. It was someone who was pretending to be a legionary. And, yeah, he got fooled. He got fooled. That's the risk that you run when you trust someone else. There's always that margin of, hmm, well, you just really never know. And no one likes to be fooled. Right? No one likes to be fooled. Do you know what my dad said? My dad said, if he's a legionary, I have to help him. And I'm willing to, to run that risk. So I have, he's a legionary and I have to help him. I think we need to trust. We need to, life becomes much more beautiful when we trust. Sure, we run that risk, but then it opens up ourselves to beautiful relationships. And I think as priests, I said at the beginning of the Mass, that we need friendship with you. A priest is a man. Right? He needs dad, he needs a mother, he needs friends. And I think you too, you need to have a priest in your life as a friend, a friend of your family, a personal friend, someone who can help you along the way. Right? So let's ask our Lord in this Mass that he help us to trust more, that he help us as priests trust more in you and not and to really entrust to you the church. Not just ask you to move the chairs around in the parish hall, but really entrust you with, with the things of the church. Right? And let's ask God that you too will trust more in these times when trust in priests has been shaken by the, the sad example, the bad example of some priests, very few. Let's renew our trust and let's make the commitment to each other that we will try to be more worthy of that trust. Because that's when I said, that's when things, that's when beautiful things can happen in our lives. Trusting in people always involves a risk that you'll be let down. But isn't the most amazing thing that we can always trust in God? He will never let us down. And even more scary than that is that God trusts us as priests. And he trusts you as lay people. Amen. Please stand for the prayers of the faithful.